of the order. Um, we want to be able to reduce the likelihood of having any kind of bias um, and increase the likelihood that our results are actually going to mean something about this mobile health intervention. So we randomized the selection, but it was restricted. Um, and basically that means that we needed to make sure the ones that we chose in the one region had somewhat comparable health systems in terms of population to facility ratios, and that's at the bottom of the slide here. These are the three that ended up being our final three, um, and we needed to make sure that the population to facility ratio was reasonable. If it was too different, there might have been a re you know another reason why the mobile health intervention was or wasn't working in one place. Um, next, uh, and also we had to make sure there was sufficient mobile network. That was another criteria. So the treatments, as I, uh, treatments as I'll mention now, uh, treatment one Oreda, all of the health extension workers, which is about 50, are going to receive a mobile phone equipped with M Health software that's going to allow them to do a few different things, which I'll explain. Um, treatment two, all of the health extension workers receive their phone to be able to do this, and volunteers who work with them um, on a you know a free basis, but people who are even closer to the community than they are will be given dumb phones, simple phones that just make missed calls, basically, um, because we want to test the adding in the volunteers as well. And of course, the third Woreda uh, will be control. There'll be no intervention there. So what will the phones be doing? Uh, we can switch slides. Uh, there's going to be four use cases that the software is used, uh, will be used to, and I should mention here, um, also part of our team uh, for the intervention is a group called Medic Mobile, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Uh, Medic Mobile has a software called Patient View, which we've customized for, for use in this study. So Patient View is going to allow us to do four different kinds of contraceptives at their facilities, so they'll report on each of those. Hello? Oh, okay, okay, sure, sure. Um, all right, so the second use case will be to improve antenatal care and delivery, and how that will happen is the health extension workers will use patient view to, via SMS, register every woman in the community with their, with their the first date of their last menstrual cycle, which translates to the need to arrange or reschedule an appointment. Um, please switch to the next slide. The third case will be similar to this second case with mothers, but will register children instead to improve vaccination coverage. All children in the Moreda will be registered on the mobile phone via SMS. Their birth date will be calculated into vaccine appointments at weeks 6, 10, 14, and at month 9 for their measles shot. And those will be automatically SMS to the health extension worker, who will then be reminded to make sure um, those children have received their vaccines. Again, volunteers can call if a child's not registered, and health extension workers will also receive an SMS report about the aggregate number of vaccines, each kind of vaccine that they need to pick up. Some health extension workers pick up vaccines in, in Moreda's, some they're delivered there. Sometimes there's not consistency between Moreda's, the way the health system delivers. So we're trying to account for those differences. Um, and simply, and the one that was asked for the most is emergency referrals. So it's a simple matter of having a phone to be able to call a health center or call a higher up level of care if you're sending someone for more complicated care or emergency obstetric care, especially. So probably the simple thing we're doing, but the one that was most desired by the health extension workers, so that when someone gets to that level of care, someone is ready to see them. Um, so primary endpoints that we'll be measuring are stock out contraceptives at the health post, antenatal care attendance, both the timing and the number of visits, uh, instances of clean and safe delivery, instances of delivery assisted by a skilled attendant. These two things are different according to the Ethiopian Ministry of Health. One involves health extension workers, one does not. A detail, but I'm just including both here. Um, immunization coverage and also time. Um, from a referral to when someone is told they need to seek higher care until a woman is actually given care um, at that place. Secondary endpoints 
uh, I won't read through them all here, but essentially we're just looking at some qualitative pieces of data, I'm sorry, quantitative pieces of data that will let us know whether or not having this mobile health software has made a difference in the lives of people in these communities. Um, and I'm purposely keeping this a bit short so we can have more time for questions, but that's, that's essentially the recap of the study. Um, go to the last slide. We basically will be uh, wrapping up with the final data collection in June 2012. Uh, we are all hoping to actually continue the study even another year beyond that, so pending funding, we'll do our best to do that. Uh, we think that we should be able to measure something like that. Um, but we hope to be able to find something useful, something meaningful in the next nine months. Does that include? I really would encourage anyone interested in learning more to send me an email. Um, I would love to speak more about it, but for the time being, if there's questions, I would love to. Sure. Uh, Thank you so much, Kate. Looks like absolutely Looks interesting that. work that you're Thank doing you very much. there. And uh, the use of phones being centric to the work, it's very exciting to learn about the work that you're doing. Uh, with that, can I open the floor up for any quick questions that you'd have for Kate? Are there any questions that anybody would like to ask Kate? Do you have one question? Can we have the mic up here, please? And if you can turn the camera so maybe Kate can send me the speaker as well. Thank you. Thank you. That's okay. Kate, I just have a question on the language issues on the cell phones for your project. Do you have any issues with the local language or is English very commonly used in Ethiopia? Did you hear me, Kate? Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear the question clearly. The question that she the asked question me is is that just try saying it again. The question is that in Ethiopia, when the people were using the uh, cell phones, the handset, were there any issues of using the SMS in local language or in English? What did they use in terms of language? That's a great question, um, and one we thought about. A lot. So, health extension markers have all graduated from high school. Part of the get to become one, and in training for Mr. Alhar, English is supposed to be Amharic language. Um, and so, uh, what we will be doing, we've translated the software not into Amharic characters, but still in English characters or Roman characters but in the Amharic language. So they're, they're still using their language, but they're reading it in English characters instead of Amharic. And also the reason why we gave the phones to health workers and not to mothers, because for the most part, uh, most mothers in the communities we're working in are, are not able to read the Thank you so much, Kate. Uh, we appreciate you uh, coming on and making this presentation from what appears to be a serious work environment. And uh, we're hearing noises, and it looks like a live environment in which you are. So thank you so much for coming in and participating. Were you able in this. to hear my answer? Yes, your answer was clear. I think we got the answer quite clear. Thank you. Yes, we got your answer. Thank you, Kate. And with that, we'll move on to the next speaker. So thank you very much for participating. If you can stay online and would you like to hear the rest of the speakers, you're welcome. Uh, and um, if there are any questions at the end of it, you're welcome to participate in that as well. We'll move on to the next speaker.